Uh, hi, I'm April, the manager of Steps Garden Centre, and we're bringing you the summer edition of Weeders Digest. Um, we're going to get into some tips this summer about how to keep your garden healthy and how to look after yourself, um, staying hydrated, seeking out shade and even picking your timing. For example, you wouldn't want to harvest your salad greens in the middle of the day when they're wilted and sad. So we'll talk about all of those things. Mulching is a great way to conserve water and regulate your soil temperature, keeping your plant roots nice and cool. Um, we recommend using a layer of mulch a good 5 to 10 centimetres thick and not touching the stem of your plant. Um, mulching will also break down to help feed the worms. It will help prevent erosion from heavy rainfall, which we can get at this time of year, um, and is just a great way to keep your plants and garden healthy throughout the hot seasons. This time of year, your soil can be depleted from high temperatures and the sun and heavy rainfall. So we recommend using a liquid fertilizer um, once every fortnight, just diluted in a watering can. Um, I would do this when it's a little bit cooler, so of an evening or early in the morning. Um, and be mindful to not fertilize any heat stressed plants because this can cause damage. In that case, I would use a diluted seaweed solution instead of a fertilizer. Um, and we recommend and use here Bio Guano. They have a blue one and a green one. The blue one is potassium and phosphorus based and the green one is nitrogen based. So great for all purpose uses. Some plants will appreciate being bottom watered during this hot time. Um, instead of wetting the plant from above, you can fill a dish or a saucer with water and pop the plant in there and it will draw up from the roots what it needs. And this can also help reduce the likelihood of any mold or fungal issues during this humid season. Our featured plant for summer is the Bougainvillea. It is beautiful and in flower all through the hot seasons. And you can also grow it up a trellis to create a bit of dappled shade for more sensitive plants. So follow me and we'll go have a look at them. We've got the Bambino range, which doesn't get huge, so it's great to contain to a backyard, grow it up over a water tank or just something to add a pop of colour and they're very heat tolerant as well. 